I'm Kirsty Wicking from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to do natural nails. Beautiful natural nails. We're not just going to make natural nails. No, we already have natural nails ready to paint. And we're going to do gel polish flowers. Gorgeous natural nail here that belongs to Tammy. I wish I had these nails. What I'm going to do is push back the cuticles, remove any non living tissue. That's what happens you get this little sliver of non living tissue attached to the nail. And we're getting rid of it because we want the product to adhere to the natural nail. I'm just going to file the shape, side walls, free edge. I'm just going to buff over with a white block to remove the surface shine. And I'm going to wipe over with gel residue. Wipe off solution. Give that a nice clean. And we're ready to rock. I'm going to use a base coat. Urban Graffiti base coat. Nice thin layer. Then layer, make sure you cap this edge. You can cap the edge first if you want to. Pop that in the lamp. From the pearly, pearls a singer. From the pearly urban graffiti, we're gonna use this color, which is a pearly pink. I'm using this colour because when I do the flowers, the flowers will be a solid colour and I want them to have some contrast. And I'll do two coats of this. Make sure you cap the edge. Because it's a pearl, you need to pull nice long strokes through the nail. Pop that in the lamp. Should I top coat it? No. No. I'm not going to. I am going to take off the sticky layer. I don't want the sticky layer there. I don't want the artwork that I'm going to do on, on this nail to slide everywhere. So you can see that's gonna be a bit matte now. In my damping dish, I have got some gel residue wipe off solution, just so I can keep cleaning my brush if I need to. I've got some backing paper to put my colors on. This is what you call a disposable palette. And we're using the white. Number one. And we're using this sort of dusky pink. And then we're using this deeper pink. So I'm going to pick up some of this with a short square brush. I have no idea what this flower is that we are painting. It's just a flower. I so need to get down with the names of these flowers. Because <laughs> I just don't know what they're called. This it's isn't just... a garden and show, you know. I know, but I feel a bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just am a bit thick. I'm going to clean that brush. And I'm going to go into the white. Wow, I need to clean that brush more. Still have a little bit of colour from the pink in there. I'm 
So we're using the white to add shading. I'm going to cure that layer. I'm using a longer thin brush now. We're going to define the edges. And bring in some soft lines. The good thing with working with gel is it's not going to dry so you can wipe any mistakes off or anything you don't like. You could wipe that away. You can really control the intensity of the colour. The thicker you put it on the more intense it's going to be. You can really control. I'm going to use the white now, same brush. I'm just adding some highlight. Going to use a bit of the dusky pink now and just pulling that through from the center. Now we're going to give this flower a center. I'm going to use some of the dark color first of all. And then I'm going to use some of the dusky pink. And I'm just moving that about with the very tip of the brush so it merges together a little bit. And then we're going to use some white. Again, touching that just so it kind of blends a little bit. Then we're going to cure that. And I'm going to use the white now that's cured. So we can, I don't mean the white's cured, I mean the center part's cured. We're just going to use the white to add a little bit more highlight. Tiny little dot. And pop that in the lamp. We're going to make it look more fancy, spancy. Fancy, spancy, is that even a word? Yeah, no. Fancy, pansy? Schmancy. <laughs> fancy, schmancy? Yeah. We're going like to make it look more fancy, schmancy. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it look fancy, schmancy. Bit of white, duck. Bit of white. Gonna add some little swirly bits.
I'm going to finish by applying top coat. This is the Urban Graffiti Gel Top Coat because don't forget we are doing this on a natural nail. Pop that into the lamp, my love. So that's completely finished. We are going to finish off with some coconut cuticle oil because I love coconut, you know. I love coconut almost as much as I love eggs. <laughs> That's such a good comparison. I'm gonna get some eggs and coconut. Yeah, I would never eat them together, I don't think. But I love coconut, like desiccated coconut. Desiccated coconut? That's what it's called. What's desiccated coconut? <laughs> What's desiccated coconut? <laughs> Okay. Like dried coconut. It's called desiccated coconut. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm sure it is. Hey Siri. <laughs> what is desiccated coconut? Looking. Here's what I found on the web for what is desiccated coconut. Have a look. Why is she from New Zealand or Australia? I like it. <laughs> oh, she's South African. I can never know. Don't no, know the difference. She's uh, Australian. It doesn't say anything about desiccated coconut. <laughs> it's called desiccated coconut. I'm sure I'm right. Hey I Siri, search for desiccated coconut. Here's what I found on the web for desiccated coconut. Have a look. Desiccated coconut is coconut meat which has been shredded or flaked and then dried to remove as much moisture as possible. There you are, I'm right. Desiccated coconut. However, today we're using de um, <laughs> we're using coconut oil. Cuticle oil. Because you know, everybody's crazy for coconut at the minute. Mm. They use it in coconut, your coconut water. water, yeah, coconut oil. You can put it on your body, in your hair, cook with coconut. Let me just tell you something. When you do nail art in gel, sometimes it's uneven. However, because we've done everything really thin and flat, and we've pretty much just used it like paint and used the pigment, there is no lumpy bumpiness to that nail. can see the shine. So you can use these techniques to paint anything. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, start again. There you are guys, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget all the products we've used today are in the description box, just down there somewhere. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and check out my Snapchat as well. I can show you lots of things on Snapchat. The things you will find on my Snapchat are my life basically. Not always nails, just my life. And don't forget, we are going to be here for more videos. And I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're just going to cut there. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. La di da di, oh la di da 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 da. Do 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 do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see the screen there. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs>